Hey y'all, Brad Schermitt here from IBM Engineering. Today, I'm going to talk to y'all about filtering within Doris Next. There are two ways to find the artifact that we want to within Doris Next. And to do that, the first way is clicking inside of this box in the top left hand corner of the screen that says type to filter artifacts by text or by ID. So in this box, if I want to, I could put in the ID for an artifact and hit return. It will then show me what artifact that is. And to clear it, all I need to do is mouse over where I applied the filter and subtract. I could keep adding searches to get more and more refined. It is entirely up to you. To show you another thing, if I type in the word aviary and hit enter, it will show me everything in it with the word aviary and so on. Removing this filter, another way to take a look at filtering is going over to the right of the box and clicking on the funnel with a plus symbol. Then when you mouse over it, it says add filter. This is a whole list of attributes that you can filter your artifacts by. And to show you an example, I will click on accepted and I only want artifacts that have been accepted being true. And we have three things down below here. We can either close this window where none of this will be applied. We can add and close this window where stuff will be applied, or we can click on add. And that will allow you to add multiple things to the filter. Another thing to watch out for is whenever you click on one of these, you typically have other modifiers that you can make for this attribute filter. And for example, for accepted, we can change is to a different kind of modifier. But for now, I'm going to click on add and close, and you all will see that all these artifacts have been accepted as true. If you all have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me on LinkedIn at Brett Charmette.